Welcome. To more X Blaze Code Embryo. But you know it's Code uh, Lyoko. I don't know. Oh, that was a good show. I don't know if you know. Uh, now I'm gonna have to talk about Code Lyoko at some point in this episode. <laughs> but I don't know if you noticed, but the the embryo part comes after Code. So it's the X Blaze Code category, like embryo. Mm-hmm. Now, as soon as I realized <laughs> that grammar part, I was kind of like, hmm? "What? Excuse me? I call shenanigans." Shenanigans. <laughs> Shenanigans. Shenanigans. <laughs> Next person that says shenanigans, I'm gonna pistol whip him. Shenanigans. <laughs> What's that Irish bar that you like? Shenanigans? <laughs> Shen- that, that, there it is. Ah, here. Her temper is legend. Oh, damn. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa. We didn't get any of that, actually. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. so this is... this is. No, because I could have sworn we had her. Glam red? Yeah. Cohen Glamrat Stroheim. Still from JoJo. Age 17. One year below the legal age. September 21st. Oh, hey. Only like 11 days after my birthday. Yes. Word. Research. Like libraries and curry. Oh, she'd be great friends with that um yeah. that one. I don't remember her name. Well, she'd be friends with her and S. Because, look, research, reading. And internet's kind of... Eh. Oh. <laughs> internet. Shiitake Wait. mushrooms. I agree Hate? with you. No, no. Shiitake mushrooms are dope. They're mushrooms. Fun. Uh, magic tribute. Fire. Affiliates. Magic Guild. The Burning Witch. They're cool stocking. An apprentice at the Academy. Now try to read this shit, huh? Try to read that. Try. Come on. Located Come on. on the Isle of Isthmus. Try reading it. <laughs> There's nothing there. <laughs> there you go. Nope. Well, now. Oh. Ishana. Okay, I was close. Uh, 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 <laughs> bitch. Alright. A daughter of the powerful Stormheim. Sigayu family. Sigayu! She has zero tolerance for mal... Fiences? <laughs> what is it? Oh, she's, at, from, she's from Evanescence. Yeah, from the 2000 okay. band. 2003. And her tendency to white knight frequently oh. gets to... Or gets, gets her, her in, trouble. in trouble. Her temper is legendary. That legendary... What was it? Oh. Um, fucking Windseeker... Oh, no. Earning her the Blake nickname the Fire, Fire, Fire Embrin Stroheim. Embrin oh, Stroheim. Jesus. <laughs> the height of the height of the height. <laughs> and oh peeps the mic. <laughs> Every time. Oh, I just really she has blonde hair and blue eyes. <laughs> <laughs> She's an Aryan Fire Warrior from the Fire Nation. <laughs> <laughs> we were okay handling unions until the Fire Nation came in. <laughs> Due to her potential strength. Most believe she will be the first in a long while to earn the right to become a uh, Führer. Oh, that's why the chapter's called Ten Sage. <laughs> yeah, probably. But <laughs> really, the rest of this sounds more like the Germans created a magical, like, Hogwarts kind of deal. <laughs> it's Germany's Hogwarts. <laughs> <laughs> She's Harry, Harry Potter of Germany. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Harry is um, a German name, so works perfectly. Harold. Harold. Harold of Death. Oh, God. Hell Wolfgang. <laughs> I think we might have spent a little too long on this. Sturheim. That is the most German name I could ever imagine. Like, th- okay, think of a name that's more German. I'll give you, like, five seconds. Think of a name more German than Stroheim. All right, so one, two, three, four, five. You're out of time. What do you got? <laughs> Nothing? Lettner? <laughs> Lettner is not a very German name. Sturheim is <laughs> German as hell. <clears throat> Back to the story, actually, though. I don't know what else to tell you. Toya <laughs> Kagari! What about butts? You what about Aryan, butt? <laughs> Aryan princess? Grunt. Ooh, who's oh, he's still alive? He just, I, oh, yeah, they decided not to kill him. Well, did it, yeah, but they still fought and kind of beat him in the head with a giant metal sword. Yeah, he could be waking up. <laughs> Punk! <laughs> Are they here for three hours? <laughs> Do you really want to risk asking the guy who's probably going to try to kill you? Stand on his throat, then ask. <laughs> I don't think he can speak like that. Hmm. Just cut off all his arms. <gasps> and then put a bucket with a rat on his stomach. Or position the sword above his chest if he set, does anything. Wait, crush it. toy? Nothing. It was loaded. But did anything disappear, though? No, I didn't see anything. Liar. <clears throat> me. Oh, he looks tired of our shit. <laughs> he looks... He, he was tired when he He's came like, in. Not let alone he got his ass whooped. <laughs> he just looks over like, Ah, oh, you sons of bitches, what the fuck. Because he doesn't yeah. have to? <laughs> That's such a stupid question. This is us. Yes? Yeah. 
<laughs> Suitable strengths. He's bound like a pile of steel. Help. <laughs> Help. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Oh, okay, I guess. Let's see how this goes. That's true. He didn't know. And I'm pretty sure it's from those three, then torture those three him. people. Oh. Oh, no. Keep, let her keep going. Go, S, go, S, go, S. Yeah, you're ordered to interrogate, not torture. Slightly different. As I distinctly remember, torture is best when you have the threat of harm, not the actual harm. I don't know. If someone put a rat on your a stomach with a bucket on top. That's the threat of harm. And then they Once lift the, the bucket on fire. Once the in you, you're not going to be saying shit other than, ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, what if they cut off nine of your fingers, and then they put hot pokers under your toenails? By that point, And I'm... they said they're going to uh, start putting a sand blower on your kneecaps. At that point, I'm probably already <laughs> passed out. <laughs> <laughs> Dreaming of a better place. <laughs> a place <laughs> without hot pokers and fingers missing. <laughs> But you would probably have spoken, right? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> well, I mean, after the first finger, you probably would have done it. No. No? No. If they took a cleaver, hacked off your pinky, you wouldn't have been like, all right, here's everything you'll need to know. No. <laughs> I would not inform them. If they've already done that, no. Fuck you. You're not getting shit from me. <laughs> you got one finger left. Let's move to the toes. Oh, God, no. <laughs> what? Not if they try to rip off fingernails. That's a whole other story. What? What do you? How do you think they put hot pokers under your toenails? They skewer them. <laughs> it's not a good thing, homie. <clears throat> Are you playing good cop, bad cop here? If it works, it's gonna be stupid. You shut up and stay there. Let the Aryan do this. Biggie, titty, kitty. <laughs> Let the Aryan interrogate. That's what they're good at. <laughs> Fire Nation, go. Yep, good cop, bad cop. That's all it is. Ew. Agro. Told you. Told you it was that guy we saw. But I thought he was dressed in red. The Reaper. Reaper. So it's a guy. So my th same time as a little bit before Blaze Blue is incorrect because Ragna has a grimoire, which I guess means at some point he's gonna lose a grimoire. Because mm. I mean, there's not two of them. If it's the Azure grimoire, then one of them has it. Mm -hmm. Although to be fair, um, what's his name? You know the remember the green-haired guy? Maybe. He, in the second game, said the grimoire that Ragna had was a fake. Mm. And But he's the only one to ever say that, so I don't know if it is a fake, or what's yeah. up. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, they kind of did, didn't you? There were two others. That's an angry sounding guy. How would he know? Does he have a GPS on him? Oh. Holy shit! What? Transform the next level. Next level. Uh, ah, yes. That's an issue. <clears throat> now he goes powerful. Shoot the fireball! <laughs> Play this fighting game. Excuse me? This is a fighting game? <laughs> That's a visual Here's novel. the fighting game. There's, uh, we didn't teach you anything. Oh, Go ahead. oh Go. I think he's dead. I think he's dead. Ah, ah, thanks, Kermit. <laughs> I am 9% sure he's dead. I, I'm guessing that confirms. Oh. Oh. But he was with the white-haired guy. So one of the ten sages is definitely not friendly. Oh shit. Which means he's one of the top mages. Yeah, he's he's at a higher spot than her. And yeah. she was throwing, like, nuke bombs. That guy just made him explode. Yeah. 
This is worrisome. Yeah, a little bit. <clears throat> someone who can make someone just explode like that? Mm. Yep. Oh, 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 to pay for your crimes. Okay, so I think he's a renegade one. Mm. But considering the entire island of the other nine sages who didn't capture him, that yeah. might be ex bad. extra worrisome. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. Close luck. She just, he just made someone explode. <laughs> the other nine sages show up. I'd be like, oh fuck, let's get ready for a battle. <gasps> oh shit, that's actually another item from Blaze Blue. This one I know. Uh, Izayoi is a uh, really powerful. What was it? Oh, I don't remember all the terms for it. It's pretty much a magical weapon, mm. a very powerful magical weapon. That um, the uh, Tsubaki <coughs> Yayoi, the Yayoi family, watched over that item. But it also, when Tsubaki used it, it gave her a ton of power. But eventually, it made her blind and then filled with darkness. Mm. So she like started to lose all her senses. At one point, Hawkman actually saved her, and it was really fucking cool. But um, it's a very very powerful cursed item. But I don't know how it happened. But there became a second. Um, Tsubaki, in a sense, called Izayoi. And it was the weapon, like, personified. Mm. So there's the Tsubaki Yayoi, who is the normal one, transformed into the dark version, corrupted by the weapon, and then there's the full <laughs> actual, like, evangelic weapon version. Mm. Story, I don't know how it happened, and I never did the uh, Tsubaki story. But Izayoi is extremely powerful in Blaze Blue, so I have no doubt it's super powerful in here. Mm. Yep, that makes sense. Remember Izayoi, the one with the giant spear? From 3? The kill has chosen evil bath? Is that the guy who just blew up somebody? Yeah, and destroyed evil. Oh? Event. Event? 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 Oh, something we did is influencing this part, but what? But what? Resolve to wield it. <clears throat> Maybe because it's talking about the Meiji Guild? Probably, it could be. We'll check after this. But that sounds extremely, extremely like the weapon from Blaze Blue. Because they're like, oh yeah, it gives you a ton of power. But you'll eventually be cursed to a very dark place if you use it too much. Pretty sure he knows being one of the Ten Sages. Damn, damn, I know, damn. Damn, dude. Damn. I feel, okay, this guy feels very evil, but he doesn't feel like the kind of evil where you're like, ah, oh, he's a <coughs> bitch. <laughs> he's, shit. he's just trying to do, like, some righteous mission of his own thing. In his mind, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> What did, oh, this is exactly like Tsubaki. What did, what did, what did he do? Hmm. Zohai. Which is German for two. Oh, so I'm guessing uh, her dad was the one that used his Ayoi and mm. died. How much you bet they blamed it on him, and that's why she's trying to kill him or Could capture be. him? <laughs> mm. <laughs> Three? Oh, so all those bad guys were ten sages. Shit. That, that, yeah, that's pretty bad. Yeah, that, I think that means even worse for us now. What, what about if all the other sages decide to go and fucking whoop ass too? That doesn't mean that all of equal strength, it just means they're the ten strongest. What if they're the three strongest of those ten? Exactly. <clears throat> I don't think the a seven against three in that scenario would be helpful. His scenario? What? Yeah, yep. established. Yeah, very established. But the the event's gone, so let's see what. Oh, son of a bitch. Those powerful wheels of magic amongst all mages. Damn. 
That is very bad news for us. Duh. Toya! <laughs> Get a brain in there! Did you start drinking lead again? <laughs> glug, 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 glug. Mm. Oh, poison! Rotting the brain! <laughs> Damn, telling it like it is. Uh, you guys adding in there is not gonna do anything. <gasps> Make our escape. Damn. Because there's nothing you joining will change? Damn. <laughs> what do you even hope to do? You're just gonna go in there and die. Yep. That is all you Iron got. Iron Man symbol. Kind of is, actually, if it didn't want to spin like a Beyblade. Oh? Hmm? The other one. Yeah, it's the chick. No. Say no! No! no. Just no. say no. no! But that'll be it for this episode. Go to like, subscribe, and comment on the bottom below. Let's see if the guy's smart enough to say no next time. We'll see you guys then. Peace. Peace.